afternoon, everyone. Good evening. My name is Juan Carlos Gill, and I am visually impaired and physically impaired as well. I have been a 3D printer enthusiast for quite a while. Thanks to Prusa Printing and Miami-Dade College, I have the ability to do 3D printing with the MK3S, even though that before I started 3D printing on a Ultimaker 3 Extended. I wanted to do a follow-up video to show Chris in Chris's basement that I truly enjoy and I follow and with him and other YouTubers like a 3D printing nerd and so many other people. I admire and I follow tremendously. I wanted to showcase that you can do flexible filaments on your MK3S and don't know under and understand why Chris is having such problems. I'm using several types of TPU and I will show you now. Well, we're here in my MK3S and I printed this case in TPU. This is from Saint Smart TPU and uh, it was about $35 a six rolls. I also printed uh, this elephant in TPU with Saint Smart and this a uh, dolphin in TPU with Saint Smart. I have printed the MK3S a vibration dampeners as well in TPU. I also have, believe it or not, made in TPU this Godzilla, as you can see here. And recently, in TPU, I have made this uh, skull, and it's extremely flexible, and this was 0% infill. Yes, I'm not going to lie, they're stringing, and there's a lots of different artifacts. But it's not as bad as what I saw with Chris. I can't find benches, but I've done several benches. I've even done a big benchy. I also wanted to showcase to you guys... A Sir Lursalot, and I can't find it right now, but I've actually made a uh, 3D fill. And I've done a uh, bracelet in TPU, as you see. In total, I have created over... 20 to 80 to 500 hours worth of TPU printing. Yes, I'm not going to lie. I've also at the beginning started to have problems with me and my extruder. I use all the normal settings and I have placed magic dew on the bed due to the fact that with magic goo, it does not leave a residue like normal glue does. Now, these are my types of TPU. This is a TPU from TPU filaments. Don't remember the name. And that was a $15 roll. And I bought that in Amazon, as well as I have Saint Smart. And the last roll that I have is this one right here. I don't want to bash or talk negative about Chris's experience. Don't get me wrong, please. I encourage everyone to print with TPU. I have seen in the Facebook forums that so many people are having issues. 
I don't understand why. Printing in TPU is great. And with the new, with the new Himera uh, extruder, you could print amazing in TPU. Hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, subscribe, and thank you so very much. Chris, if you could please watch my channel and critique me and tell me how I could get better views and better subscribers, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you for such a great printer to Prusa Printing as well as Miami Dade College and our local makerspace. This is Juan Carlos Gill, a visually impaired person that also works on my MK3S as well as I print in TPU, PLA, ABS, and uh, HIPS, as well as uh, other filament materials. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye now. Please rate, subscribe, and always enjoy. Please leave your comments down below. Once again, Juan, J U A N 2617, here on YouTube. Thank you so much and enjoy.